hello friends welcome to our youtube channel metallurgical engineering today in this video we will talk about the critical temperatures in iron carbon phase diagram so what are the critical temperatures critical temperatures so the temperatures which are those at which phase changes occur during heating or cooling process of an alloy those are called critical temperature so critical temperatures defined as like this and the certain symbols are used to denote the critical temperatures in case of steels basically so we will see here like this one is a1 line this is another line which is called some a2 line this is a3 line this is a cm line and here one more line that is special one a naught so i will explain one by one next we will explain uh, all these uh, lines this a naught a1 a2 a3 and acm but now we will see how we will denote the cooling and heating cycles for the iron garment phase diagram not actually heating or cooling cycle that is cooling temperature or heating temperature how we will differentiate so let's take an example of eutectron reaction so during eutectron reaction heating or cooling heating or cooling sets at the critical temperature we call it like ac1 or ar1 respectively what does it mean ac1 and ar1 we will see the letter stands for the french words that is a for arrest that means arrest and c for kaufeck that means heating and r for refrigeration that means cooling so are you understand at a particular temperature heating means increasing temperature cooling means that is cooling down or decreasing the temperature so these three next we will see if extremely slow rate of heating or cooling are employed employed the corresponding temperatures are nearly equal like uh, ac1 equal to ar1 or equal to a1 so this one we see here that here so this is eutectoid temperature so we will decode here eutectoid temperature at ordinary heating or cooling there is thermal hysteresis hysteresis and ac1 will be greater than ar1 in case of ordinary heating or cooling the next higher the next higher critical 
temperature is A2. So we will talk about what is this A2. So A2 is the Curie temperature. Curie temperature of iron that is 768 degree centigrade temperature where ferrite undergoes the magnetic transition from the ferro magnetic to the paramagnetic state on heating like here we can see if we will heat so this is the temperature range that is 768 degree centigrade temperature so here the ferrite undergoes a magnetic transition that is from ferromagnetic to paramagnetic okay so we have seen what is A2 we have seen what is A1 also now we will talk about other temperatures so the temperature corresponding to the gamma and gamma plus alpha this boundary this phase boundary for hypo metatoid steel is termed as AC3 or AR3 okay so unlike A1 the A3 temperature is a function of carbon percentage okay it decreases from 912 centigrade at 0 percent of carbon to 7 to 7 degree centigrade temperature and this is a hypoeductoid steel okay next in hyper eutectoid steel gamma gamma plus ap3c this phase boundary is called acm will tell you which one is a3 and acm both now so this is called a3 this is gamma and this is gamma plus alpha or gamma plus ferrite and this boundary is gamma plus ap3c so gamma and gamma ap3c boundary is called acm boundary and this is a3 boundary and one more fact that apart from this acm the acm line is considerably is deeper than a3 line okay so we have seen all these a1 a2 a3 acm the only left is a0 so about a0 also we will see what is a0 so this is the curie temperature of cement type that is 220 centigrade is called a0 so this is all about the Curie temperatures in iron carbon phase diagram. So, thank you guys. Please like, share, subscribe our channel and stay connected. Thank you.